two names, three ethnic groups, and all around good food. Today in Worldly Treats with No Meats, we're off to Bosnia and Herzegovina. Today's recipe is quick and simple, but big on taste. Let's begin. Bosnia and Herzegovina together form a small country on the Balkan Peninsula, surrounded by Croatia and Serbia. It was a major part of the former Yugoslavia and retained the Republic's capital city of Sarajevo. The land has been inhabited by Slavic people since the 6th century. It existed as a kingdom until 1463 when it was conquered by the Ottoman Empire and then later Austria-Hungary. During this time, the Archduke of Austria was assassinated in Sarajevo, sparking the start of World War I. The aftermath of the war left Bosnia to join other nations to form the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. After Slovenia and Croatia left, there was nearly an even divide between people who wanted to stay and people who wanted to go. When this led to Bosnia and Herzegovina's Declaration of Independence, this caused a conflict which escalated into the Bosnian War. Today the country exists as a democracy and is politically divided into the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina along with the Srpska Republic, Bosnian, Croatian and Serbian are all spoken as official languages by its three and a half million people. Having been rebuilt from war-torn land, the country now attracts many tourists and has high literacy and education rates. For this you will need one and a half cups of water, one potato peeled and cubed, salt, two-thirds of a cup of yellow corn meal, a quarter cup of fatty cheese, and an eighth of a cup of oil. First boil the potato and then let it cool. Bring the water to a boil, add the cooked potato, the salt, and boil until the potato starts to break apart. Without draining the water, gently mash up the potato. Slowly add the cornmeal, continuing to stir. The texture should be like cream of wheat. Don't let it get too thick. You may not need all of the cornmeal the recipe calls for. When it is done, add a little cooking oil. Remove from the heat and add the cheese and enjoy. It's certainly interesting. Actually got pretty good flavor. Well, that was very hearty and surprisingly tasty. Uh, I don't know if it's a, be a breakfast or a dinner, but it was good anyways. 